Because you didn't know that Gibraltar is a British colony. Well, look at the weather. It's raining. Of course, could it be any other way. It's close to Spain, but who cares? The moment you cross border, the clouds just start pouring rain. I mean, UK style couldn't be any other way. As you can see, British, British, flex, Gibraltar, flex, and after a couple days in here, I can tell you that Gibraltar is a place where the war scene and the siege scene is still very present. It is a place where you can see the you can feel that there was worry here. The the way things are built, it's like a fortress everywhere, from the streets to the walls to the homes inside, to the hotels that are still very old, and they keep it this way because people love it. Which like some models here that it just they want to keep this style. They want to keep this feeling of an old war at the 1700s against Spain. And you think in pounds, of course. The size on the street, look at this. Very similar to the ones you can see in London, for example. So, you to this feeling of going to the UK, but knowing that in 20 to 30 minutes you're back in Spain, thanks God. Great food, <laughs> great weather. I mean, probably now in, in Marbella and in Cadiz. And other places close to here, it is still, you know, cloudy. But, but yeah, I can tell you, the moment you are here, you feel the mist as well. I was, I went running to the top. There was a cafe. I highly recommend it. One of my favorite spots in the world. It's similar to, you know, this heights of the Bush Khalifa. Of course, it's not the 123rd floor. It's not the 154. But it has these this views of, wow, being in top of the city. So, you know, you say Burj Khalifa, you can say any other high point on a, on a city. That allows it to see that the port, the airport, the stadium, everything is so close. It's, it's compact. It's an international city, compact, so international airport. Uh, they have football stadium, they have everything, but just like city. So, in a glimpse from above, you can see everything with the monkeys. Which is pretty funny. You know, to have a gang of monkeys over there. Uh, over 40, 50, like plenty of monkeys. And I totally recommend it. Well, more signs of British colony, in case it's not obvious. And yeah, this is what you can expect when you come to Gibraltar. There's also something interesting about here, which is the taxes. It's $50,000 flat tax. That's what the maximum you pay in taxes in here. Max, 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 50,000. You make a billion dollars just to pay 50,000. And actually, I was talking with a gentleman. He is, he's running a nine-figure business. 140 million in valuation. We were having a coffee. Oh, uh, sparkling water. Yesterday, to be more accurate. And she was telling me how, how great, you know, it is to, to be here. And you have it as a base. Anytime you can take the international airport and fly, disappear. But then you come back and you have this secluded village that, as you can see, you know, has this remaining over here. Reminiscence of what it was, the police station. And also, look at there, what we have got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk a little bit closer. Yeah, bam. So, Chapo is an interesting thing, he's a concept. You can check it out online. But look at it right here in this fortress. It's like real fortress. Okay. Just made square. Chapel Bank. Now it's closed. Okay. It's a Sunday. But look at this. Pretty cool. Right. Monday to Friday. And this is the building. So this is how it looks from the inside. And you can book online. Actually, you can book a Cavalry. And just say you want to visit, and they're gonna give you a tour for one hour. 
and yeah, you can see the van from inside. Yeah, they are doing good things. They they were first dog, then they got some regulations. So who knows in the future what will happen with with this van? They're gonna still be crypto friendly, but the thing is they are located in a very beautiful spot, and yeah, I totally recommend coming to Gibraltar at least once to see it with your own eyes to feel the the war energy of this of the city this town it's pretty small and yeah then just head out back to spain go back to marbella it's one hour from here puerto Banús. you can also go to Cardiff if you want more like spanish tapas and Lucia lifestyle and yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'm gonna keep it short and sweet your router, the taxes for banking. Keep an eye out. Another fun fact about your router is that you literally cross the airport. You cross, you walk the airport. Well, there is not a plane. I saw a couple planes today while I was running. I was, I was happy. The cafe, there's a stop. It's 454 meters. Like the point that is fired. Out of the city center, 500 meters each, maybe. <laughs> it's funny. That's when you arrive, you get walk in. It's like, yeah, sure, cross it. Bicycles, bicycles. We have the ocean over there. We have our ocean over there. Just like, crazy looking. But I love it. It looks like you have a city straight there. Rules and no rules at the same time. It's like, we don't care. Just let people walk. So, yeah, that's the best. I love this freedom. I love places in the world. Like Paraguay. Now Gibraltar is on my list. Oh, let's look. Say hello. This is where rules kind of apply, but it's the land of the free still. So, Gibraltar drops. Somebody from the government is saying this, good job, I love it, I'm enjoying the experience. Okay, yeah, now uh, I'll see you in the next one.